Uh, that's an attack line. Jeff DeWitt's with us, a Trump guy. First of all, Jeff, I want you to deal with Anthony Weiner. Why is Mr. Trump going on the attack with this? What is Hillary's vulnerability with Huma Abedin? Well, you know, Anthony Weiner is, uh, is sort of the gift that keeps on giving for Republicans in one sense. As much as we all don't want to think about Anthony Weiner's Weiner, it keeps popping up uh, every few years and we can't get away from it. So uh, it is out there again on Twitter and it's amazing how he can't, can't keep that thing under wraps. Yeah, well, but Trump's attacking his, Anthony Weiner's proximity to, Miss, uh, to Hillary Clinton herself. I mean, she's only one step removed and that one step is Hillary, uh, is uh, Huma Abedin. Right, who will have a prominent role in the White House should Hillary Clinton win? And I think that's important, is to look at okay. the judgment of the people around her. Not only uh, is that, and that's a personal matter that, that, you know, but look at the professional matter of the emails that are coming out right now, then some more were just released, that shows uh, Huma's role in these these pay-for-play scandals and okay. how close she was to the whole thing. Now take me through the attack on the Kaepernick affair, if you like. Donald Trump says he'd better find, find another country. That's what he said. Now, where's the vulnerability of Hillary Clinton through the Kaepernick affair? Spell it out. Well, I think one thing is it just points out is that Donald Trump is accessible to the American public. And he's, you know, he's familiar with pop culture. He's out there. When you look at that versus, you know, they're roughly... 70 days left in the election, and for 270 days, Hillary Clinton has not had an unscripted moment. She has not had a press conference. She has not answered a question directly to the American public. And this underscores when Donald Trump shows he's one of us. He's a guy that tweets about everyday life, but when you look at the Colin Kaepernick thing, uh, it's absolutely atrocious. You know, here's a guy that is showing complete disrespect for, for the lives lost by our troops in in. Our, for our country and you know there are troops out there that have had their legs blown off in, in Iraq and get titanium legs and can still stand for the national anthem hmm. and for this guy to to come out there one of our, our national sports figures and say he's not going to stand for the national anthem anymore I'm sorry but I come from a time when you stand for the national anthem you sing it with pride you recite the Pledge of Allegiance and you do it all for our, the good of our country and for this guy to do that, I agree with Donald Trump. If you're not going to stand for our national anthem, go somewhere else. Okay, we hear you. Jeff DeWitt, Trump guy. We'll see you again soon. Thank you, Jeff. Now. Great. Thanks, Stuart.